Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Guys, check it out. Again, I'm back with another product. Guys, this is really gonna be a simple video, all right? Listen, I picked up a product for my Super Duty here. Now, if you guys own a Tremor or Super Duty, pretty much any pickup truck, this is something you're gonna need to pick up, all right? It's something that you don't use too often, but when you need it, you're glad you have it. So enough of me talking. Thanks for joining me. We're about how to DIY, truck stuff, product reviews, whatever I'm into guys, I'm sharing that information with you and hoping it helps your guys out there in your decision making. As I say, please hit all the notification buttons, like, share, whatever, all right? Whatever tickle your fancy, hit those buttons, I greatly appreciate it. Guys, there will be a affiliate link below of this product. If you decide to pick this up, please consider using that affiliate link. It does support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Again, enough of me talking. Let's get into the video and let me show you what I just picked up. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. Guys, what I have here guys is just simply some loading ramps. That's all it is, loading ramp. If you own a truck, and I realize owning a truck, you need, you're gonna need some loading ramps. If you're hauling an ATV, if you simply wanna put your lawnmower or a snowblower, in my case, I got a wood chipper I gotta take to the, to the shop or to a repair center. How are you gonna get that, those items into your bed? A lot of them are very, very heavy. And if you don't have a tribe of people <laughs> in your house uh, to help you lift this thing, it is very difficult. So having some lo decent loading ramps is very important. So I ended up picking up a set from my favorite store. You know the store, Amazon. Again, affiliate link below, check it out. So what we're gonna do guys, we're simply just gonna open up. I'm gonna show you what, what they are. I'm gonna see how, show you how I'm gonna utilize them. And that's pretty much it. But this is a must tool in your toolbox, pretty much, guys, if you own a pickup truck or any type of truck, really, and you need to move certain pieces of equipment, a loading ramp does come in handy. All right, so enough of me talking. Let's get it open. Let's see how it looks, and let's go. All right, guys, this is how it comes. As a Again, I'll put a link below of this particular model. Um, again, you could, you could spend as much and as little as you want when it comes to loading ramps. And if you, I realized when I was doing my backyard one time that I had to rent a, uh, a sod cutter and I didn't have loading ramps to, even for my minivan. So I had, to rent, I had to rent them from Home Depot just to get the machine into my van. And I think it was like 40 bucks, I think it was for the rental to take it out of the van and get it back. So I realized once I got a pickup truck, this is something I was gonna have to pick up. All right, so this is how they come. And this is how it's all packed up, guys. So let's, uh, let's get this unpacked. Very simple. These are made of aluminum. You got directions here, and they give you some loading straps to help you keep it on your bed. So let's kick this out of the way. Over there, put that over there, and here they are, guys. All right, let me put up my things here. Not that heavy, not heavy at all. And as you can see, they give you the straps already here. And now the straps are for, help you to fasten the straps to your, your bed here so it doesn't kick away from the bed. All right. All aluminum. Um, how many feet is this? I don't know the feet of it, guys. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Actually, stand by. Okay, guys, let me see. Tip to tip, uh, from tip to tip, we're talking about 89 inches, that's over seven feet. 
almost close to seven and a half feet long. All right, and let's pull this back. All right, not that bad, not that bad. Let me show you guys a little closer what I'm looking at here. All right, this is how it looks here. Um, all welded. Now the one thing I did notice guys, when it comes to this set, there's some sh very sharp edges right here. Very sharp. So I, I ooh, definitely don't like that. See so right here, right here, and right here. Those are definitely sharp. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find something I can just kick this down because I definitely notice once you put this against your bed and this is all plastic, it's gonna rip it up. I can definitely tell. All right. If you don't set it up in the right manner. And let me just give you a quick look at it. It's all aluminum and this part here is smooth. So there's no type of rubber or anything down here to help you bite into the floor, I notice. So I don't like that, which no biggie. I'm gonna pick something up. I'm gonna probably put something there to help it so it doesn't slip backwards. I don't see why they probably get some rubber, glue it down here to, to help with that. Again, just for the traction so it doesn't kick back. And that's pretty much it for that. Let me, uh, let me set up both of them and see how they look, all right? Okay. Okay. Not bad guys. Again, the only thing I don't like. Okay. All right, this looks solid enough. Very solid. All right, so again, the, what I can say, the things I don't like, again, up here, sharp edges, if you butt this against your tailgate and it kicks in, it is gonna scratch it. So I'm probably gonna get some plastic dick or something. I'm gonna spray this end up here just to treat it, just avoid it from scratching my bed, all right? And number two, again, I showed you the bottom of it. It's all smooth. Now, by the looks of it, it doesn't really touch, it, touch the ground and these ends, right here let me see if I can show it to you guys as you can see here that plate really doesn't fit flush to the ground so maybe it's not designed to and this will bite into the ground which is not a big deal that's what it's supposed to do so maybe my concern of putting something there is is not a big deal I don't know you tell me and that's pretty much it guys these are the tracks um, I think it's reasonable price again for something I don't use that often. I'm pretty sure if you're, you have an ATV or a snow, snowmobile or something, these may be very good for you because what I like about this is this, that grime and dirt won't build up on it. And it gets, does is raised up a little bit to give it a little traction. You see these little indents here? It's a little traction so as you go up on it, it bites into it. So I do like that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let me see if I can figure out how these straps work and getting this installed. So stand by. Let me look at the directions real quick and see so I can walk you through it. Okay, guys. Um, I got the straps taken off. All right, now to read into the directions. And I'll take a screenshot of the directions of this. Let me show you guys. The straps are going to go in between these two slots right here around this bar. All right or however you believe 
is best set up, all right? Once it's in, then we gotta flip it, attach it underneath, and I'm gonna use my, my hitch as an anchoring point, all right? They said to go over the bumper, but in my case, I'm gonna use my anchoring points on my hitch. Okay, I'm gonna come up through here, and come down, come out, and it's asking me to slip through what? To slip through this, but how am I gonna get that through there? Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna do, gonna take this off, take that part off. All right, and you're gonna slip this through like that. Okay, all right, so he's gonna have a little loop that goes on this. Then you're gonna take your other part, okay. And when it says, you'll see something here, it says feed. So you're gonna feed that in this way. It's gonna take a little finagling to get this through. Okay, guys, let me, uh, let me try to get this through. Don't wanna bore you on trying to show you how to get this done. It's, it's trial and error. Okay, guys, got it done. All right, so when you set up your straps, so I can show it to you guys, you got the hook there. Take that strap from here, come up, come around, and come back that direction, all right? And it says feed. So when you pull it, this is able to bite in to this. All right, so I got this strapped in. And let me show you what I'm doing, guys. See how the strap is here coming through? Right here, knotting it down so that locks it in so it doesn't kick back. And now you just gotta find your anchoring point. Or I decide I'm just gonna anchor it right there. It makes more sense. Right there. And so when you press this down, oh, well, hold on, let me set this up so I can show you guys. Okay. So when you're anchoring it, you're gonna press this down and just pull it closer to get it like that. All right. Again, the point is to keep it from, from this kicking it from underneath you. So, and that's it guys, all right? And it's all dependent on your load, all right? Some guys, it's not wrong if you wanna keep it level here, wherever you got it, you can always go through there, flip it around and come back to it. You can do that also. No, actually for the length of this, there's another hook, let me show you, even a better one. Right there, see that hook right there? So it keeps it lined up. So that's even a better anchoring point. And then you, all you have to just pull this tight and it'll self lock itself. Okay. Let me show, show you guys. All right, see a strap there, comes across, grab, put it in this point and pull it tight and that locks it in so it doesn't kick out. Yeah, and that's easy. All right, and as you pull against, again, be careful because this is gonna scratch up this. So I'm definitely gonna treat this before I start using it. All right, because I definitely don't want to be all scratched up. So I'm gonna get some plastic dip and I'm just gonna spray this whole area. All right, but that's it guys. That's simple, very inexpensive. It's a must have if you have a pickup truck, all right? Because I have to, just to show you guys, put this to the side, excuse me. I have to take this bad boy to the shop and this is damp, way too heavy for me to get it in that bed without ramps. So that's the reason me picking up the ramps. But again, it also helps with lawn mowers, ATVs, etc. You name it, a must have. Guys, I hope this is helpful for you guys. If this was helpful for you, please consider hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, use that affiliate link, and I'll check you out in the next one. Later.